Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin Mike Kings here. Recently I got a commentary from, I'm not sure whether this guy is my subscriber or not, but still. So he gives me a nice feedback and so here is here his request basically. So I'm trying to create a drop down list so people can download different versions of the, of the file in Excel. Uh, now it works if I create download button for each of them, but doesn't work uh, in drop down. Uh, I don't know who to make I guess how to make how to make the action tag dynamic can you please help me with this and then he gives the code so I've already uh, I already had a quick look at the code and even tried to run this even though it's the partial version so uh, eventually I've decided to create a new tutorial on this rather than digging in this code because uh, I did have to write li literally everything here so it's way easier to actually try to um, Kind of go from scratch rather than uh, handling this stuff. So uh, let me just try to explain uh, what in particular we're gonna be we're supposed to be coding in this video. So imagine a drop down uh, select uh, select option box, and we just click uh, on a given element, and it contains the, a proper file name. So uh, we would be downloading the corresponding file name. So if you're interested in following this sort of a tutorial, buckle up and we begin. So here I uh, have a new file for called app.py, which would serve as a single file web application with a Python and Flask. Uh, so the very first thing to consider, we need just to import a couple of big packages. So I can say from Flask import all. Well, um, I don't know, probably we don't even need CSV, so let, let's drop it, so probably, yeah, just this kind of enough, so now let's create, create app instance, and I say app equals flask, and the argument of name, with the argument of name, and now, uh, so create, let's see, oh my god, create user interface route, and let's say app dot route and I'll, I'll use just the bare root here so dev root and here we'll return a render template string okay and here we'll uh, draft quickly our html file J just right in a moment but before that uh, uh, we need to create another route, so create, well, let's say, uh, download, uh, file download route, so file download route, and here I say like app.route, and let's simply just try to call this guy download, and it would be taking some parameters, uh, but it would also su support not uh, it would also support the post method, which is absolutely essential in order to uh, achieve the goal uh, being described in the initial request. So we'll take the get. Uh, oh my god, what have I done? So the get method and and the post method as well. And let's call this dev download, and we'll return. Uh, well, let's actually return send file here and the file name uh yeah so we would uh, so we will be extracting this file name okay so just just for now i just, just want to drop this so for now i will just drop this and for the debugging purposes i would rather be returning some well so j just just drop it for now so just pass here to make it synthetically right and yeah let's provide the main driver act to actually run this so i can say if name equals to main in this case we can say app.run and let's enable the debugging mode equals to true okay so uh, let me just try to try to open the terminal in the current working directory and by typing python 3 app.py I'm 
starting this sewer. Okay, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, uh, by default, it serves uh, the port of uh, number 5000. So let's open our browser and go into the local host in a port number 5000. So we don't have anything here yet because we didn't yet specify the HTML. So uh, let's have some H1 tag. Let's align this in the center. I know it's weird to do this like, but just just to make it slightly a bit more user friendly and readable. So uh, let's say app to download files uh, via clicking on items within option box. Save. Let's have a look. If we do have this updated. Yeah, perfect. So now I just want to create uh, an option box. So we need to select select tag. Yeah, we, will, we would also need a form. Well, uh, I will I will add this just right in a moment. So select uh, now we, we need this name. So name equals to let's call this select. Select file, dislike. Uh, yeah, I, I also want to align this within the center, and here we would be having some options. And let's say, like, file one and Two, three, four, five. Save. Let's have a look if it appears. Okay, it does it does appear perfect? Yeah. Uh, uh, for some reason, it didn't really go to the center. Just wondering if I just add the form. This is gonna be centered. Oh, that's because it just malformed. Just just a typo of the line. Save. Yeah, now it should work. I, I, I guess it doesn't still. Hmm. Well, maybe it won't. I'm not sure. Well, okay. So probably there is a better way of doing this. Uh. Anyway, I want to create the form uh, with a method equals to post, which is absolutely essential, and the action equals, and here we specify the specific route, route. so download, save, and okay, okay, we need to close the form tag as well. I'm just wondering, uh, can I use this align center for a, for a form? Just really wondering, is this, is this gonna work? Just never tried this before. Yeah, it does work. Perfect. Okay, uh, okay, so this is much better now. So, um, what is next? So, well, let's actually try to check if it uh, kind of works. Well, uh, another thing to consider. So uh, there are several essential things. So the very first one is just to create a download route uh, uh, supporting not only the get method, but the post method as well. Then within the form, uh, specify the method equals to post, which is also uh, essential. So uh, he said like action to make action attribute dynamic. Well, uh, it's not a matter of action attribute getting dynamic, but it's the matter of specifying the on change event uh, or on, an, on a select uh, option uh, tag here. So if we just simply say on change equals to 
this dot form uh, form dot submit and here uh well let me just try to yeah, return so i want to stringify the request dot form yes yeah, just to see like uh what kind of option would it be returned there so this shouldn't this should work and now I'm changing this sort of options it should have make uh, a post request to this download uh, to this download route so let's see if it kind of if this is supposed to be working yeah so we got the select file equals to file 2 CSV perfect okay file 1 CSV perfect so file 4 CSV yeah which is absolutely fantastic so now let's create uh, this this kind of guys so file one dot csv uh, file two csv file three csv well three files would have been enough because five is a little bit too much okay so um, here we can already extract the file. So is this gonna be it like from from the front end perspective? It seems like okay. So here uh, we need to extract the file name that would be equal to request dot form dot get. And I'm just wondering, was it uh, select file? Yeah. Uh, get this select file key and yeah let's just try to return this file name now and update cancel nope oh my god localhost and yeah so now we got the file name being extracted from the form submission there and now we can actually return this send file and we can simply say return this file name and as attachment attachment equals to true so it would be downloading the file actually well we can even make this this like okay just one liner one line solution there Okay, so if I did everything correctly, uh, it should now work actually. So let's try to download file number two. Okay, we got this file number two being downloaded. Okay, file number one, perfect. File number three, yeah, we got it. Well, this is it guys, so it's, it's quite pretty easy. So let's summarize what we've done in this little tutorial. So we create the only form uh, with a method equals to post and the action attribute pointing out to the particular route we're supposed to be making a HTTP post request to in order to submit our form and then we, we, we do give a name to our select option box and specifying the own change event so every time we select a new option here this JavaScript is executed, so basically the current given form where this select element lies within is actually getting submitted, and then we we uh, we fire in this download callback function here, and here uh, we just extract in the file name that was submitted within the form using this request of form to get and the name of the select option box. Uh, HTML element name and specifying that the attachment equals to true just to make to make it possible to download and we send it this file. But uh, just to bear in mind that send file is not safe way of mm, sending files. It might be hacked uh, quite pretty uh, brutally and uh, they they actually uh, suggest to use send from directory instead send file. But if, but obviously uh, if it's just a uh, learning uh, project. Or things like this if it's, not, if it's not for production then follow is just fine but again like have a look at send from directory it's way more safe because within the send file you can basically uh, you're basically creating uh, security vulnerabilities for the file system on the target server that where you're supposed to be running this web application
So this is it for this video guys, and uh, thanks for watching, uh, I hope, uh, oh, what's the guy's name, Mr. Robin, I hope uh, this kind of helps you quite pretty a lot, and hopefully it answers your particular question. So this is it from my side, thanks for watching guys, and until next time, and take care.